Hello, my name is Tom and I'm from Gear for Music and I'm joined by the Jody Spina from Jody Jazz. And today we're going to be looking at how you can optimise your saxophone mouthpiece setup. So looking at the saxophone, you've obviously got a lot of components at the top. So you've got your mouthpiece, your reed and your ligature. How much of a difference can they really make to your sound? People are always shocked at how much difference they make. The mouthpiece is where the sound starts that makes the most difference. In other words, the closer to your head you get, the more difference everything makes. So the mouthpiece and the reed uh, make the most difference in the sound and the ligature. And when we talk about sound, it's really for me sound and feel. Yes. Feel is equally important as the sound. Because you want to feel comfortable when you're playing as well as get the sound that you want to achieve. Yeah, and you can do that with the mouthpiece and the reed. You can't leave one out. You've got to match them. And then the ligature can make a difference in the sound, but it seems to make more difference in the feel. So someone will just, oh, that feels really good. It makes the reed vibrate differently. And uh, all of a sudden things come to life. So that ligature would be the third thing I would play with. And, and you can uh, you know, actually just have so much more difference um, in the whole thing from those three things. I think it's a fairly common misconception that people think if I upgrade my saxophone, I will instantly get a better sound, whereas that's not always the case, is it? It's, it's probably not as much because you probably will get a better sound or you better get a better sound if you're upgrading, but it won't be as dramatic as this. So like we were talking about before, probably upgrade your mouthpiece first, get real comfortable, and then search for your dream horn. So that's the more budget op option. You think, ching, ching, I'm actually saving some money in the long run. So if you have got the money to invest in a new horn, certainly go for it, but you still get as much of an impact by changing the, the top setup. Yeah, more of an impact, I think. Fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about sort of the trinity, as I call it. So how well the mouthpiece and the reed choice really work together. And obviously we've mentioned the ligature there as well. Okay. But how does the reed and the mouthpiece sort of interact to get that better sound? Sure. Well, let's say you've, you've settled on a mouthpiece and now probably the odds are that your reed is the perfect reed for that mouthpiece or 30%, let's say. It's, it's very likely that there's a better reed for it. And mostly what we're talking about in reed is the strength. That's mostly it. It's finding the strength that gives you the feel, again, that you like, the amount of pressure you need to blow with and the amount of pressure you need to bite with, um, and then the sound you like. The softer the reed, the buzzier the sound, the wetter, for lack of a better term, uh, the harder reed, the drier. So let me just play. This is about a reed that I pretty much like for this custom HR Star Custom Dark. Sometimes I'll use a little harder reed for a little airier sound. But you give it a listen to this read, and then I'm going to put a harder read on, and you see how much it changes, okay? Right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's put a hard read on. This is actually designated as my DVNY uh, read here. Because obviously different mouthpieces, different setups. Yeah. So you can see how much that changes, gets all that air in there. It is a much more breathier sound compared to the first version, definitely. And sometimes I want that. I want that, I get that air in there as, as if a Stan gets Paul Desmond, right? And so that's all preference. And that read can make such a big difference in that sound and how you flow. So You've got your mouthpiece, optimize it with a reed. What I do is I get a, as many reeds as I have maybe, and I put them in a little glass of water. And they don't sit for too long, but I put them all out on a flat surface so I can, they're all not warped. Don't ever play a warped reed. No, no. <laughs> yeah. And if you do have a warped reed, when you're looking at it, 
like this and it's going like this, I straighten it like this. Uh, Press it on the edge of your mouthpiece. And then I go like that, just careful not to break it, but I got to have it straight before I play it. So I try all those reads and I find out what, what is best. Now we know that. And then if you're in the market for a ligature, I love this power ring uh, for many reasons. How it holds the reed lets it vibrate differently. It, it vibrates really freely, and then the material is heavy, and it gives this little bit more body and mass to the sound. It's all about the pressure points as well. Some people sort of, exactly. if you really sort of clamp the reed, it can really Im impinge on the sound, can't it? It can, but some people love that. They just crank it up. Crank it, it works. Um, you can put it loose, it works. It's all different. The best ligature probably in the world is, is this. <laughs> yeah. Your thumb. I mean, back in the day, it was a piece uh, of twine, wasn't it? The really? twine is very good. It's just inconvenient. Um, this is so convenient. I, I love this. I just hold the reed, put it down, I'm ready to go. Um, so, so but, but there's so many ligatures on the market, and it, it's, it can be a worthy pursuit because, for me, honestly, it's usually not a game changer. But so many people have put this on and go, wow, that's a game changer. And, and that's, you know, I love it, but I, it surprises me when people say that. That's a game changer, and they mean Some it. Some like, people can really hear the fine qualities of the sound, and read upgrading literature can really be that minute difference. Yeah, it's been like, they say, wow, I like that mouthpiece, but when I put that on, done. Game changer. Uh, so it can be that for you. It's a really worthy pursuit. Uh, it, once you get there, then you know what you need. And, and you're almost done, except when you go to find the next read. <laughs> exactly. So thank you very much, Jade, for explaining how that setup really can help affect your sound. If you've enjoyed the video, click like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.